It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, Major. No way we're getting through that. 10-4, Cody. Advance team reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting.
15 November. Drive train on the team is shot. We'll find me a minute, and I think I can get the weapons online.
here, you two. Come here. Listen. If you want to live through this, we gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. We'll each find our own way up there and catch them front and back. Got it? Good. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here, there's no going back. All right, move out! No, it, maybe you blew her up already. Why? Where is she? I don't know. I don't know. Fuck! Your friends are here. Okay, Hotlanders, drop your guns and she doesn't die. Got it? Saved my life. You probably should have killed that gal, though. Gonna warn her friends, and I appreciate it. Just watch yourself. They're right outside. Not likely. Most of them burned with our transport. A couple more went under the ice and... Wait, Major Tom, he might have made it. Saw him take off like a bat out of hell after we wrecked. Don't know if he'll come with you if you find him. He gets pretty spooked, but... Take these. Might get his attention. <laughs> Major's just his nickname. You can just call him Tom when you find him.
gotta catch my wind first. Let me stay here and guard your rear while you take care of the ones around the corner. Be careful.
damn it. Uh, looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance, I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> The rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> My big brother, he'd have loved to take a piece out of you, but that's okay. I'll bring him one later. <laughs> you don't know much, do you? The Dorseys are the harbingers of the deluge, the motherfucking end of the old world, and the beginning of the new. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Dorsey's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save us. Holy shit! They done killed Jared. Doggy. <sighs> Never shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. Are we going? Okay. Is your soul all spotless? Is it clean as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb?
would be he lose? Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? Bill's a good kid. Thank you. You did... well. Now... I'm bleeding. All over the paperwork. Uh, we need to, to head for Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. We do that, and the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't, and the Rangers are fucked. And that brings me to the secret orders. When we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent an, sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela... Death. But they went dark. We have to... find them. Part of the Ranger squad that took down Base Cochise 20 years ago. Only one who's... who's still alive. Almost died on a mission in California, but but she found her way home. I can't can't believe they didn't tell you about her in training. Give me a second. Catch my breath, and we can go.
You found Major Tom. Crazy <laughs> little furball. I'll be all right. Just get those guys. Get going. I got this covered.
Major Brassad? They got her? God damn it. Fuck this place. Fuck it. Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the Patriot. Three. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So, here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. If you insist. Thank you. It's been too long since I've dealt with my problems firsthand. I'd like to do the same to all the Dorseys. And maybe, with your help, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base, and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. I'm glad to find you so amenable. I hope that means we're going to get along. Now, <sighs> introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado, though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now... Yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here.
No sudden moves around the Patriarch. Whose job was that? I need to rest a spell. Catch my breath. That all right with you? Ah, uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your footing while I get back on my feet. Oh man, more every day. This place is nice and all. Kind of majestic with all the mountains and wild weather, but it's hard to enjoy it when I know everybody back home is dying by inches. We gotta finish up our business with the Patriarch and get the supplies he promised us back home. People are counting on us. My folks are counting on us. Sorry, I just want to get this done and get back later. No sudden moves around the Patriarch. Not a chance. Pleased to meet you, Rangers. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here's Sergei Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us, too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. No idea. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. Yeah, weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ah, let's talk after you kill the alarms. I can hardly hear myself think. Word of warning with those servitors. They tend to go nuts if you ask them to disobey orders. Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. 
As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Protection? You think I need protection? Stop trying to be smart and listen. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? Good. Then let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? What do you want to know? Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway, I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. Guess they weren't prepared, because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. Don't get your hopes up. Vic likes to play with hostages. Might not be much left by the time you find them. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is... She'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. At least I raised one. Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing him to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. No, 
But the Gippers are tough and well-armed, and Denver's a death trap. Divided loyalty, that's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else... Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. The Hundred Families, the Gippers, the Marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. You'd better. Anything else? Uh-huh. The la- <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. Possibly. But I know the Dorsey's from the old days. My staff and I co- Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. Good. What else do you need? Of course. She's having trouble rousting some Dorsey's who have been hope. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. That's what I like to hear. I expect great things from you, Rangers. Do good work. All right, let's move out. Rangers, come talk to me when you've got a moment. I want to discuss staffing and recruiting, that kind of thing.
Systems active. Greetings, Rangers.
Systems active. Greetings, Rangers. Fill you in on a few things, Rangers. Still need to talk to you, Rangers.
Don't shoot! Who... Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. I'm Del Hackett, and I... Well, uh, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and... We've got nowhere to go. Please... Will you let us stay? The other soldiers wouldn't want us around, I know. It's not that we want to cause trouble for you. Few of us might be able to earn our keep. We're not trained fighters, but we can defend ourselves with a knife or a club. We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. But we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> Not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. 
No place not in te The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago, so we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarm... Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and we never set anything off before. We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed. And more are always coming. You said... Yes. Uh, well, I was sure you wouldn't. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing. Andy. Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Good people, Rangers. We'll find a way to pay you back. Anything you need? Sure. Andy may have. He's the only one of us who knew computers. I told him to stay out of the... Oh, it's, it's horrible. They were there when we arrived. Probably been rotting away for months from the look of them. Ugh, not to mention... Yep. There was a man locked in there when we moved in. Living off insects and mushrooms in his cell. I, well, I, I... I felt bad about that. He was cordial enough, but... Uh, he just... And those glassy eyes. Booby traps, mostly. One of my people disarmed an explosive on a door, but... Missed a gas mine under the floor panel on the other side. She was vomiting for... I told everyone to avoid the room after that. No one here is worth losing over whatever guns may or may not be in there. Poked my head in there and saw a giant robot next to a dead body. Hard pass. We first got into the base through a hole in the archive room. We've been trying to snare them for a while for fresh meat, but they just chew through the ropes like they're Sour Patch Kids. Careful out there. It's an uncaring one.
Well, well, it's odd. Haven't seen you before. Have I? Rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I, uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that once a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Uh, headquarters, that's cool. Helping's good. I like helping. Uh, are there, like, more of you here? I know not my name. Uh, yeah, something like that. Honestly, I don't, I don't remember. Been a long time since I thought about that. I, I couldn't have been here. Couldn't tell you, man. Like, there's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. You know, man, I, uh, I got every little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta uh, lick. And uh, you know what they say about dark, damp spaces, man. So I added a little self, uh, self-made fertilizer. Those mushrooms growing good, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, bugs, buzzy crunchers, and climby snappers, and skittery two bites, and running gushers. Sometimes rolly poppers. That was a good, but yeah, mainly mushrooms. Yeah, sure, uh, maybe. Kinda, kinda hard to keep track of how long it is. But, uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before her, the old man. That's so a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. Then after a while, the alarm stopped and then, uh, well, well, she was, uh, she was, anyway, she came in here looking sad. We talked um, for a bit and then she left again. Hope she didn't die and she's haunting me for some reason. Though, now that I think about, oh, a real nice lady, man. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. I think she said she was a traitor. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and some people she was good. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to uh, to say that. You know, man, it's um, I've been here a long time. There was, but uh, yeah. To remember who came in first, and yeah, yeah, yeah okay, because uh, this. <laughs> oh man, didn't you like? Okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner, friend though too, man, like former friend who dis. When I woke up, uh, I, I was in here. I told you I thought he was my friend, you know? But, uh, but, oh, uh, didn't, uh, didn't we talk so a while ago that it me? Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. While those, uh, those alarms were going off? How'd that happen? Um, well, that guy, uh, he fell over onto the computer machine after the flap, or... Oh! Oh, shit, man! Do you think someone snuck in here while I was sleeping and fiddled with those buttons? A prowler lurking about? That's, um, uh, some scary... Oh, man, yeah. I'd, uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Really. Cool, cool. I, I get it, man. No pressure, but uh, I sure 
People are people, and sometimes they need help. That's what the Rangers do, right? Help people? <sighs> Andy, damn it. I was afraid of that. How did he? <sighs> Thanks for telling me, Rangers. I'll break it to the careful out there. It's an uncaring world. Still need to talk to you, Rangers. Still need to talk. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, and I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician and former dispatcher for the Marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting... Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Of course, ask away. Uh. <laughs> well, Sergey won't blow his own horn, so I'll do it for him. He's Colorado's greatest war hero. Fuck 75. Tops. You're too kind, Sergey. Yeah, I was getting a little itchy. And retirement was driving me stir crazy. Just sitting around listening to the paint peel. I jumped at the chance to help you folks out. That's no lie that I've been looking. And I am truly sick of re Let's say... Liaisons. You don't know the politics. You don't know the personalities. That's where we come in. We're here to And yeah. We're supposed to report back to the- Not sure exactly. We were gonna get the place cleaned up. Something must have triggered the security systems between- Patriarch chased out the last big gang maybe... Ten years back? Before that? All kinds of bandits, militias... Recently, it's been mostly outlaws and refugees. We should check around to see if there could be what set off the alarms. Around these parts, we call the nuclear apocalypse the deluge of fire, because, well... Noah's flood was the deluge of water. The nukes were the deluge of fire. Gonzalez? He's a whiz with stuff like that. The AI will allow you to give the vehicle orders in combat without having to be inside it. Basically, it'll become another member of your squad. Okay, what's next? My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So, pick recruits who are good at- And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up.
Spotted. We can handle this, right? Spotted. Spotted. Are you crazy? Oh, are we going? Damn, shit just got real. Damn, shit. Enemies alerted. If you want to brawl. Enemies alerted. They see us. This is not the best way. You started it. Well, choo -choo. we can handle this. We're in. Here they. Here they. Damn. Damn. New targets incoming. New targets. Uh oh. They have us at a disadvantage. And they see us. They see us. They see us.
this and I can get you all the fighting troops you need. But if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Now that we've got that sorted, now you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Perfect. That'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is... After that, you might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. If you impress her, maybe she... Anyway, you're cool. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen... Uh, once, forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Great. I'm at your... Lead the way. get this cleaned out, you can put your truck in here. Man, and 
I just cleaned my gun. Dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an... Stink. Somebody's been using this med bay for a morgue. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something. Or a handball court. Can we help you with something? Careful out there. It's an uncaring world.
Well, this must have been the mess hall. Better get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed is probably the easiest way to keep them loyal. I need to rest a spell. Catch my breath. That all right with you? Still healing up, but later.
fucking Dorsey's. Please, my son's done nothing wrong. Dad, oh, so you please help my boy. To the you don't look like marshals. Do you work for the Patriarch? Then my boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. Austin Pease, the skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our, our family escape the wars in the East. Please, help my son. We ain't gonna back for our lives. We ain't weak like you. The deluge of blood is coming for you all. His kid's going in the pillories next. No mercy on your soul, Colorado! Sorry, I, I didn't... I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot. I made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. <laughs> People here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food, some kind. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. The magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. And they're gonna let the cold do its work. I wonder if it'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. No, I was never no desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. I'm used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. Nice talking to you. Neelius Dorsey lives. He'll kill y'all. This kid's going in the pillories next. We ain't gonna bake for our lives! Black!
Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan, impertinent rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey Uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorses were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the... You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news We ain't from gonna you. beg for our lives! We ain't... We Still here. Now looking forward to what comes next. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and, and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Now as Dorsey lives, he'll kill you all! <laughs> Thanks, Rangers. Thanks, Rangers. Can't wait to get out of here. The deluge of blood is You Rangers for you are all. heroes. I'm going to tell everyone what you did for my son. Thank you. Thank you. you. We ain't gonna bank for our lives. You! How does it feel now? Murderers! Extra, I extra, cowardly well. attack on Colorado. New in town? Did you hear about what happened? Sure has. It took a while, but Sheriff D's just what I've been. Thing is, everybody thought. Oh, Marshall Station, right over there. Can't miss the pillories out front. Yep. I work for the Colorado Patriot. Only be careful. Might still be Dorsey's hiding out in the city. Outlaws are Josiah. They won't be scared of a con sarnet. You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there. Hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. You think I can't handle myself? I uh, since when? You will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? Some of those Dorsey bastards are hiding out in my shop. They're too busy. Besides, a man should be able to protect his own shop. Thank you. Keep it killing myself. Can't you pretend you do this? You'll get a nice discount at the shop. Assuming I still have a shop by the time it's all over. Thought you was all dead. I done told you. Don't come any closer.
Ah, uh, no, nah, you're right. Huh, nice get up. Phew, boy. Thanks again for taking care of those do- We'll clean up the old s- And here, come on back, and Sarnet, you Dorsey peckerhead. What? You think? Oh, sit. Will you help me talk? Some of those doors, they're too busy. Besides, a man's that killing. You do that. Well, go on then. Shit, Hotlanders. We thought you was all dead. Back off. I done told you. Don't come any closer. No way! Got these fuckers! <laughs> New targets incoming.
Phew, boy. Thanks again for taking care of those doors. Say, if you got hurt in that scrap, you should see a friend of mine, Doc Parker. He set up a clinic in the Arapaho garage, just outside the city gate. And here, a little token of op- Come on back after we reopen the shop. This here's Market Square. The Arapaho Garage is just outside the city gates. My old friend Doc Parker set up a clinic there. Parker's the best doctor in town. Be a hell of an asset if we can persuade him to join the Rangers. Careful, though. The Doc is prickly at the best of times. And these are not the best of times. Snap it, Jimmy Bob! Still stand! New faces? Let me know if you need to restock. I hear there's still some... Oh, that's my prized possession. A genuine pre-apocalypse, fully functional microwave. That's snapping, Jimmy. Not that much to tell. My let's.
You the Rangers? Sheriff Daisy's looking for you over at the marginal station. Ferris fiend, turn! Ah, hello there. The name's Theodoric Curie. Theo, for friends. I need to work on these gate hydraulics, but I always have time to answer some questions, if you're here to learn about our wall. I am the humble son of scientists, sadly. They are gone, and my- It's simple. If we had oil to power the generator, believe me, I under- Back to the wall. No time. <sighs> Jumped out of a building to escape the Dorseys. Didn't count on the ground stopping me. Come on. Jumped out of a building to escape the Dorseys. Didn't count on the ground. Too many patients. Me. Not. It isn't bad, is it? Just catch up already. Flesh wound. Am I right? You should see. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Understood, brother. They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. Thank you. The things I need most are... We'll talk more when you come back. What now? Now I can, sure. Okay, you're good. Long as you don't mind if I keep working while we talk. Name's... Well, that... that would be a... Just wish I had enough medicine to keep this... We... That was... Till I grew up and hit the books. Dorsey attack. Maybe you heard about it. A suture kit, a medical pack, and an injury kit. Then use them to fix up the other patients. Sure. There are people dying right here, right now, and you're trying to get me to leave? What the hell are you thinking? Good luck. Let's hope you got another career plan. I give it another three months before Pesa leaves you in the dust. And so what if she does? It just means I gotta work harder. Ain't no shame in that. I'm gonna remind you that you said that. I miss the open road. The cold sky above us, the endless worry that... Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see... Yeah, haven't seen your friends before. This is... I'm the man. Best crew in the business. Yeah, good thing, too. Those the bad... Nicer came home in the end, though. Remember cold work. Anyway, fast backs the old one. At the driving and wrenching is kind of wet. While other and when we came back, sure we do. If they're good enough, takes a lot of anything for your vehicle. Have a look. You ever hear of car gardens? You mean where they grow these fine automobiles for our personal use? Don't get cute. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. I didn't know they existed until my pa told me to go down to this old man's farm. He said he had a few cars we could take. What we didn't expect was 50 VWs in his garden. 
hanging around like shrubbery in a rich man's home. Damn waste of some good cars. Hear of car gardens? You mean where they grow these fine automobiles? From? Need help? Talk to Jimmy Don't Long. Don't get cute. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I didn't know they existed until my pa told me to go down Next to this week? old man's farm. Get out. He said he had a few cars we could take. What we didn't expect was 50 BWs in his garden, hanging around like shrubbery in a rich man's home. Damn waste of some good cars. We've got everything the Doc asked for. We should head back. What now? Finally. Get started on those patients. Is it? Just flesh wound. Am I right? You should see. The other guy. What now? Good luck. Jumped out of a building to escape the Dorsey. Ground stopping me. Jumped out of a building to escape the Dorseys. Didn't count on the ground stopping me. My leg! You said it! Ugh, still hurts like a bitch, but maybe I'll actually walk again.
bad, is it? Just flesh wound. Am I right? You should see. The other guy. You closed my wound. I won't miss staring at my own gods. Thanks. Would have bled to death without you. What now? Good luck. Did you patch me up? Just made a place to live!
What now? Good. Thank you. One sec, though. I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've offered. You see this girl? She was shot in the head, but there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. You've saved her life. And mine. Need anything before I get my stuff together? Of course. Let's have a look. Good luck. Should I call him? Call who? Oh, just this woman he's been in love with forever now. They met in the bazaar and she saved him from getting into trouble. But now he's too scared to do anything about it. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Y'all seem nice, but if you got business with the Carters, you should talk to Mama. You got business with Mama Carter? Ha! No, you don't. Come back when you do. Until then, scram. Did you see the Dorseys almost blow up the statue? Yeah, I was hiding under the bookseller's stall. Marshall stopped him at the last second. Wouldn't be Market Square without it. You the Rangers? You the Rangers? Sheriff Daisy's looking for you over at the Marshall Station. You bundled up over there? My trigger. Gotta have priorities. Come on back after I open up my shop. These marshals and Dorsey's got on them. Those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill them, but you need to put all those valuables back. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from marshals no more. Assessing the target. <laughs> Taking shelter. Uh -huh. yeah. Assessing the target.
goes for cheap. Boss said we're closed till further notice. some new arrivals. Don't take that tone of voice with the... Or what, Quan? Fine. Fine. What do you want? It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks. Experimental farms. And now those fucking Dorseys. Sheriff Daisy say so. Nope. No room for amateurs in this town. You hear? No room. My stall, ain't it? <sighs> it is. We best stay back. God damn it! Where are the marshals? They've got their hands full licking their wounds. You're gonna be waiting a while. Back up slowly. Holy 
Scream hat girl! Better stay back from my stall. Those goddamn Dorsey's dropped a landmine under it. Really? That's great news. I'm back in business. You the Rangers? Sheriff Daisy's looking for you. Welcome to the freshly reopened Taiwan. You didn't hear this from me, Franz, but word is there. Ah, you want to hear about? I have no idea what you're talking about, Franz. Nope. No, wish that I did, Franz. Born and raised in Colorado Springs. Me? I've never... Sardine Lee.
Welcome to Mary Milk Teeth's Morning After Mart. If, or maybe you got banged up in the Dorsey Raid. Just a simple humanitarian who saw a knit. Remedies for regret, children. Here you go, children. Salvation is at hand. Rangers, I chat, but there's a lot to wrap up before I make my way to your headquarters. Rangers, I Rangers, I chat, but there's a lot to wrap up before I make my way to your headquarters. Killed by Dorsey thugs. Families taken hostage. Murderers! Murderers! Not must be drunker than I thought. Did someone yell something about Dorsey? Cold and shitty day, ain't it? Marshals, finally. Hold on now. You aren't marshals. I, I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no good. Do I must know how the sheriff intends to rescue them, and when. That may be, but my family is one of the leading families. I, I, I suppose not. My name is Lu. But now they and my little brother. We are the founding families of Col- I'm proud to trace my lineage back before the war on both sides of my family. Someone let the Dorseys into town. I came here to demand that Sheriff D No good tr They rebelled against the Patriarch before I was born and were driven from the- Well, you- No. Thanks all the same. But I think I'll- Sheriff Daisy, I will not- l Please put in a word to the Sheriff for me. If she'd only lend me a marshal or two, I'd rescue my family myself. myself. Dorsey slipped right past the ones we've got. Yeah, but we'll need to pull some more. Miss West, Miss Wesson, could you? I'm sorry, sorry about that. Are you the Rangers? Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Quan. Reports: the Dorsey raid really tore up the town. <laughs> Don't. It's on the back of the box. We keep the peace here in Colorado Springs. Mostly, though, thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form.
How's your family? My mom and pa are safe. Still haven't heard from my sister. She was working near the museum when the attack started. Jesus! Fucking Dorseys! Well, now you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore. Thing is... And by speak, you mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Ma'am, yes ma'am. That girl? You think I ain't heard her yapping? But I got a couple of... Tell you what, though. Her people are hundred family folks from the fancy side of town, so they got some pull. You can do me a big favor and kill two birds with one stone if you take little Miss Wesson with you when you go to save them. In fact, I'm gonna insist on it. I need that girl out of my hair. I'll let Lipinski know you're bringing her along. He won't let you into the garden without her. Don't worry. She knows which end of the gun. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers! Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. It's a project, but there are plenty of places to hide in the garden. Certainly. My father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk, and I'm the- Oh, it's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. I... There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. Kid? How many kids do you know who can shoot a fly off a horse at 20 paces? Or reload at a dead run? At last. Patriarch. Only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. An invitation from the head of a family or authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate... Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Rodmore Heights and the Patriarch's palace. Good day. Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Marshal Lupinski should be out front. Much as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards, Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on it. Marshal Lupinski, I expect you to moderate your language in the presence of a young lady. My apologies, Miss West. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. No room for amateurs in this town. You hear?
exit safe. Hey! You on the ledge! Hands up! Oh no! <laughs> they found me!
Oh, God. Did the Patriarch send you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I need to warn you. The Dorseys are gathering up ahead between the Gateway Rocks. Bellamy! Bellamy, look at me! Have you seen my family? Are they here? Lucia? I... I thought you were with your family. Oh, thank God you're not. Thank God. They went up ahead with their hostages, but... Lucia... If they've done anything to my people, I'm going to end them all. Please do. I'll tell whatever I can to help. It's not much, but... My name is Bellamy Ward. I'm a scientist. I invented the solar collectors and experimental farms on top of the rocks. I was calibrating the solar arrays when the Dorseys came through here, herding their hostages with them. So I hid up here and kept out of sight. They're savages. Animals. They beat those people. The PALs. Photon amplification lenses. They harness and focus the ambient light. It's fascinating, actually. They polarize the waves and create constructive interference. Normally, they maintain a stable temperature for the plants, but they can be adjusted to help power the solar collectors, or even thaw frozen components. I once coupled a PAL with a dynamic cross-photon matrix I was trying to cook a while ago. I couldn't figure out their function at first. I... What about my family? Last I saw them, they were all right. You <sighs> saved my life. I won't forget it.
is Bellamy Ward. Pal operational test number, uh, 110. I have adjusted the angle of the solar collectors by 3.12 degrees to improve the energy transmission from the...
No. Can't see a... a thing. I don't know if they're here or not. I can't... Come on. Let's find the monsters who did this. That... That was one of the Skylar girls, I think. Seems like we ought to leave her alone. Feels an awful lot like grave robbing.
Demise agreed. On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Farron Brigo's organization, and... and... Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them take my family? They're... they're in the grave you passed on the way here. They didn't suffer, Lucia. I promise. Baby, look. I didn't mean it to go this way. I tried to... Stop talking right now. We... we thought we were in the right. The Dorseys promised that we could take down the Patriarch. They didn't say anything about murdering hostages. What about all the other people they killed? Or was that- It was Neleus Dorsey. He went looking for your family, Lucia. Your family especially. That's why I got you out of your house before the raid. I didn't want- You didn't want anything to happen to me? So you let savages up- But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters most to me. He escaped. He took some vehicles and headed west into the mountains. I don't think he was planning to come back. We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. We say that the Hundred Families are in charge, but it's really just his family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but... This society's... Farron Brigo's gang helped them get into town. I don't know. I think... I have heard enough. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you. For all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. A better way? I can't think of one. Not after what he did to my family. You want to let him walk away from what he's done? I have justice right here, in the palm of my hand. I am more than happy to meet it out. I would be delighted to be its instrument. Thank you. Come in November 1. This is Ranger HQ. We're getting reports of shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? Over. Copy that, November 1. Dispatching an arrest team now. Good job getting those sons of bitches. Over and out.
You let Isaac live? After he gave aid and comfort to the enemies of the Patriarch? After he helped them kill my family? You let him live? Why arrest him when you killed all those others? What made him special? I'll be the keeper of my own conscience, thank you. I am a grown woman. You have no right to make these decisions for me. I... Forgive me. I appreciate the thought. This is... This is just... difficult. I suppose you're right, though. It is better not to have such a thing weighing on my soul. But the people who are truly responsible, Neleus Dorsey and Liberty Buchanan, I will bring justice to their doors. Will you help me find them? You can count on my guns every step of the way. Of course. Good. You've got yourselves a bargain, Rangers. We should go after Neleus Dorsey first. Isaac said he headed west into the mountains. No doubt he plans to hole up at one of the old resorts from before the bombs fell. I don't think we're ready to face him yet, though. Neleus will be dug in, I expect, and he'll have all his best people with him. He only left behind the Expendables in the garden. I thought she said she was going to follow orders, not give them. For now, we should head back to the Sheriff. 